Hello everyone, so I have a lot of news. The world is going quite crazy, especially in the United States, so let's check this all out. Over in the U.S. right now where we're at, we have Elizabeth Warren currently freaking out over Fox News, saying that she doesn't think that they should actually be running as a company, saying that they're too dangerous and that they're not, you know, following the right amount of rules in our country. It doesn't make any sense at all. They were recently denied an invite from Fox News to join Town Hall. With the excuse of their hate-for-profit racket, she basically just said, okay, if you want to meet at my event, you can do that, then you can talk to me, we can do that exclusively, and you're not going to be counted for in like our so-called media and the audience that we're going to have, which I think is so ridiculous. Okay, we have Fox News. We've had Fox News for how long for now? How long have we had Fox News? Since the beginning of time, since we've had CNN since we've had ABC, like all these other, you know, different media companies and different outlets that we have for entertainment online, and that we also have on cable news and different cable entertainment networks, it doesn't make any sense when all of a sudden they would be, you know, not allowed to go to different places to tell us what's going on in our own country. If we're only going to have liberal media outlets tell us what's going on in our country, I think that's a very biased, and how is that going to affect voting in our country? Isn't that election meddling, like, 101? <laughs> that's definitely crossing the line. It's definitely election meddling, if you were asking me my full perspective of everything. I think it's trying to persuade the whole, you know, shift of everybody that's living in America and how they think but wrongfully. That's why Trump won in skyrockets comparison of what they're predicting how he was going to win. Back to Elizabeth Warren. She doesn't want to give Fox News any more money because she doesn't want to promote them because everybody apparently believes that they're racist and conspiracy theorists. If you ask me though, I think the real reason why she doesn't want to go to a town hall is because she can't debate a real correspondent from Fox News. If she were to debate a real correspondent from Fox News, she would be completely destroyed in a matter of minutes. I think that's why a lot of politicians just hide underneath all this drama that they consume. They push out towards the media and they use that as like a defense tool so that they can't defend anybody. They can't have to, you know, go into that defense mode to where they have to debate. Then when they're debating, they have to prove their points. They have to actually show who they are and what they stand for. And they're afraid of that. They don't want to do that. Once they do that, they are showing exactly who they are and they can't start being a chameleon whenever they want to show that they're like, you know, four different people at once to make, you know, a bunch of money. To be exact, Elizabeth Warren says that Fox News is allowed to come to any of her events and that they're welcome any time, but as of town hall, it just costs too much money to be affording something like that, which is why I think that definitely crosses the line because we have a free press. And if you think about the majority of the media that we have right now, I mean, okay, mainstream media. I'm not looking at alternative media. I'm not looking at anything that is away from what we have from mainstream media. And the majority of that, I would say, is very far left. It's very, very to the left. It's not towards the right at all. Now, when you have Fox News, it breaks that. It breaks that whole entire barrier that we have from having left news, then you have a little bit of the right. And that's a good thing because you add that into the mix and then you could have a different viewpoint. But if you want to get rid of Fox News from going to different events, wow, we're really going to change this country and it's not going to be good at all. This is how I personally look up news. And I don't think it's some way that everybody should look up news. It's just personally how I look up news. I wanted to share that with everybody. And it's from looking at the right, then I look at the left, then I look at things that are going on in our country, and I just kind of, like, put that together because I feel like that would be centered. Different disasters, different scenarios that are going on that can relate from both sides. I put that together, and that's what I talk about. That's what I try to figure out and I try to say because I feel like a lot of people are going crazy on the right. They're going crazy on the left. You know what? 
It's because of social media. It's because of so much contact with one another. And you're going to see a lot of that. Now, is that a bad thing? No, there's a lot of benefits on social media, but there's a lot of cons as well. It's like with anything, really, in my If conservatives behaved like the left did, we would have no news stations left at all. Seriously, if they want to get rid of every single conservative news station from cable news, from the internet, and just polish that completely, what are you doing? We're not leaving any room for open debate, and that's definitely going against the First Amendment. I mean, if we can't talk openly, if we can't debate things, even on national television, even on the internet, what are we supposed to do? This is the time that in our country we start drawing the line. We start saying exactly what we want and what we don't want as a country and what we can say online. Because it's very important. Some people, they don't realize that what you say in the real world, what you say online, it should be kind of the same thing. You should have the same freedoms. No, it's not the same thing in a lot of people's eyes. They don't see that. But for me and for the majority of my audience, I think that that's what you do see. I think that you do want the same freedoms as you have online and in the real world because, of course, that is definitely the best progression that you could have coming up in, like, 2020 in the future. If everybody could start doing that, imagine how our life could be. I mean, it would be great. It'd be wonderful. On that note, I'm going to head out, but I'm going to have another video coming very shortly. There's a lot of videos on my channel if you want to go check those out, so I'll check you next time.